you found your perfect home and your realtor says, it's a pod. A pod? What does that mean? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Katherine Larkin. My business partner, Tom Steck. Together we are the Tomcat team. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you know we like to put out interesting videos every Tuesday for Tomcat Tuesday. Now, what is a PUD? A PUD basically is a planned unit development. Within a PUD, you can have a mixed use of properties. You can have single family homes or what we call detached homes. You can also have condos and villas and even townhomes. Usually within a PUD, you will have a homeowners association. The main thing is you always want to determine, is it a PUD or a condo? And you can determine that by reading the rules and regulations of the property and the public records. In the public records, it will say single family home, condominium, planned unit development. Some people wonder why anyone would want to move into a PUD. Well, really, it can be quite nice. Most PUDs are not as restrictive as a condominium association. Most condos have very strict rules and regulations. Now, a PUD, of course, will have an HOA and they may also have some restrictions, but it's usually not as much as a condo. For example, in Pinellas County, most PUDs are accepting of all ages. Most PUDs accept pets, dogs, cats, large ones and small ones. Usually in a condo, the grounds, the maintenance, everything is taken care of for you. In a PUD, that can be as well. Most PUDs, the HOA, the association will take care of mowing the yard, will take care of the pool maintenance, the clubhouse, sometimes building exterior, sometimes trash removal, every once in a while water and sewer. Very seldom is the roof included. Now, sometimes it is. Again, I go back to you need to read the rules and regulations, the covenants of the association of that planned unit development. That will give you a good idea of what all is included and if the restrictions are good for you or not. If you are purchasing a property that is a PUD, you want to make sure that you are letting your lender know that it is a planned unit development. Writing a mortgage on a PUD is not difficult. What you want to make sure is in the beginning, after you've done your due diligence to find out if there is a PUD and if there is an HOA fee, you want to make sure you let your lender know that ahead of time. Now, let me tell you something. They will eventually figure it out, but you need to let them know in the beginning that there is an additional fee, that that single family house that you thought you were buying is now part of a homeowners association because the lender needs to make sure that your ratios and the money, everything is balanced out and accounted for. If you would like to see a really cute little villa that is located in a PUD, take a look at this video. I'm Katherine Larkin. My business partner is Tom Stack. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification button because you know we put out new videos on Tuesday. Don't forget the thumbs up. We sell paradise in Pinellas.